All right, so I was on eBay and made the mistake of looking at junk stuff. <laughs> and um, Mackie, this is a Mackie uh, 402 uh, mixer. Mackie makes some really nice stuff. And so I was looking at some of the Mackie stuff and I noticed this one, which was like totally beat up and didn't have a power supply. These have, these take a really weird power supply. They take a plus and minus. Um, well, actually it's not plus and minus. It's, it's AC with a center tap. So you have to, you have to have a real special adapter for these things. So it's really, really hard to use it without one. Um, but I sort of wanted just to look on the inside, uh, to see how things were designed. And I can always hook it up to a bench power supply if I want to use it. Um, I'm not going to record with it, I don't think. I just wanted to be able to use it for some tests and stuff, so that might be valuable. So for 20 bucks, I said, uh, got, actually, I, I was I was looking at it, and on eBay, if um, if the seller notices you're looking at it, they can make you an offer. And so the guy out of the blue made me an offer. I, went, uh, I think he wanted 25 bucks for it. Uh, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Okay. Anyways, I got it cheap. Um, it's, it's a nice metal case. It's pretty heavy duty. Uh, I can tell it's been dropped that the weird power connector is dented in. So it's definitely been dropped and it's got rust on it. So I'm a little worried that it's been left outside, hopefully just overnight enough to give it a surface, surface rust. But, um, yeah, so, uh, let's see if we can get into this thing. Let's uh, zoom out a bit here. Hopefully it's just these four screws and that'll pop the bottom off. Oops. Don't lose the screws. They go on the garage floor, they never come back. As long as the inside looks nice, I don't care what the outside looks like. Uh, uh, oh, there's screws on the side. Look at that. All right, let's open this thing up. Open up, open up, there it goes. Just in case. Uh. Yikes, I'm gonna have to take the boards out. All right, it's going to uh, take me a while to take this apart, so you can skip ahead if you get bored with uh, me fiddling with all the uh, PC boards.
There we go. Finally got the board out. I want to take a look around the board to look to see what kind of uh, topology it has and what brand ICs it uses. What what are the uh, what are the various op amps? Loud Technologies Incorporated. I like it. All right, let's get this thing under the microscope so we can get a better look at these uh, better look at these ICs and part numbers. I want to start at the uh, preamp section, and all I can find is uh, TLO seventy twos for the preamp, which doesn't make sense to me unless there's some uh, transistors in front of those. There are a bunch of uh, uh, JRC parts which is good, so I'm not sure why that front part is a uh, 072. Tested, or test okay, by D, whoever D is. Well, to take it apart, I had to cut a groove in that little screw. <laughs> but I have a, a found a screw in my junk box that fits just fine. So it looks it looks it looks like it will always been this way. Um, I cleaned it up. Uh, took a look at the schematic. Well, not schematic. I don't have a schematic for it. That's the problem. I looked at the circuit board layout and tried to figure out what was going on. The uh, power input uh, is um, a plus and minus uh, voltage that comes in. It's marked at 18 and a half, either DC or AC. It goes through a bridge rectifier, so it doesn't really matter which pin you go you go where. So I've hooked up plus and minus 18 and a half uh, on the connector, which I kind of cobbled into the back. Um, I removed I removed the little connector that used to be on the back and uh, made a cable. Um, so I can put this back in when I need to later on, but right now I can I can power it up from the uh, from the lab bench, and if I uh, turn the uh, turn on, you see the LEDs light up. There's a phantom power lights up. The power LED comes on, and then uh, if I turn up the gain all the way, I turn up level one all the way. I turn up the output all the way, 
and I inject noise into one of the pins. Oh, there we go. I'm getting uh, 60 hertz into the into the thing, and it's coming out. It's not clipping though. Interesting. You'd think I'd be able to clip this thing. Can I? Oh, there we go. I can EQ it. <laughs> so now I'm clipping. Uh, interesting. Anyway, uh, it seems to work. So um, I don't. Not too impressed with the amplifiers used on the uh, mic preamps. Um, so, anyway, test that out. But it's kind of fun. I've never had an equalizer before. So I'm sure everybody knows how these work, but I've never had one. So it's a four channel, four channel input. Uh, one, two, let's see, line, let's see, line one, line two. So either, either two microphones or instruments or combination. Uh, there's line three and four input here, so there's left and right, uh, which is three and four. And that's here, so it's a stereo input, so there's only one knob that adjusts the uh, this input. There's also tape in and tape out, that's interesting. And there's phones, which is which is nice. There's a, there's a headphone amplifier in here and uh, a volume knob for the headphones, so that'll be cool. Anyway. Uh, try it out. It was fun. So the reason I bought this, I, th I thought I might be able to hack it, but <laughs> after looking inside, it does not look hackable. So some things are hackable, some things are not, especially without a, a schematic for this thing. It's really packed in there and everything is surface mount. It's Everything's teeny tiny. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to be hacking this thing, but I do want to be able to use it. <laughs>